Forgot about the price. If you're charging, you'll burn out, yeah. Catch your mind, you'll be jumping at first. As if I will catch you now. I know you know I'm still in your thirst. And it is Hello, and welcome to my messy home. I'm gonna take y'all around. I feel like I don't always do that at the beginning of my videos, and I need to just show you what I'm working with so you can know that there would never be a chance that I would come into your house and judge you because. My house is awful right now. Mark and I moved the pew in last night and it's sanded, but I still have to paint it. So it's in the middle of the living room and there's just so much to do. Every room is bad, really, really bad. And I want to get it cleaned. I have a to-do list that I'm going to try to stick with today, but then at the same time, I'm also just going to go room to room and get done what I can. And hopefully y'all won't judge me because it's not great. Here's the kitchen. The dining room table is still a mess from back to school stuff and there's just no excuse for that. I gotta get that under control. Here's the pew. I wanted to show y'all everything updated. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw the little fiasco I had with it. I ended up pressure washing it and using Easy Off and that was kind of scary because it turned out looking really bad, but then I fixed it a little bit, I think. So now the sides are just gross from being outside for a long time and I really want them to be black. So I'm gonna paint this side black and the other side black, you can see where the pressure washer took some of that paint off. And then underneath down here, there's no way I could sand all that. So I'm gonna paint that black too. But then here's the living room. It's not that messy, but um, one day I'll decorate in here. And I will show y'all a little bit of the upstairs. The playroom has been bad for a while now and y'all know I took the doors off. So there's no hiding this. I moved that stuff up here when we had our floors done downstairs months ago and I still haven't done anything with it. The kids tumble up here a lot, but then we just recently grabbed a bunch of stuff. I told them just go throw it in the playroom. We'll figure it out. So that is why all of this is like this. And then of course there's just laundry stuff everywhere. I'm just going to start. And if I keep talking about everything I have to do, I'm going to feel overwhelmed. So I'm just going to start. I really am so happy that you clicked on this video today and that you're here. I'm just thankful for each and every one of you. I, I don't say that enough, even though I try to say that every video, y'all mean so much to me. So thank you for being here. But I am putting together this shelf from Ikea. I bought a couple of these when we did our condo because we kind of needed them in the condo in the laundry area. And then I want to say there was another place I used them too, but I'm not sure. But this one I've had sitting up here in the laundry room. This is my kids' laundry room upstairs. I've had it sitting up here for a while and I wanted to put it together. And you'll kind of see, I think through like, okay, do I want both the washer and dryer pushed together and on one side or do I want space in between? The washing machine is very heavy. So I just kept shifting things around until I had it how I wanted it. And I don't even think I show it in this video, but the black locker that I've had in the playroom for a really long time, we don't really put anything in there. So I ended up moving that in the laundry room and I put bins in it and I put like their winter socks and their sports socks, like just all the random socks like that we use for urban air or crazy sock day. And I put everything in there and it looks really good. It's by the dirty clothes bin on the other side of this laundry room. But I ended up moving the shelf from the middle over to the side and putting the trash can behind it. So it's worked out really well and it's helped me enjoy coming in here that much more and doing laundry because it just feels like such an organized space. Sorry, I 
now that we're into, well, what is it? The fourth week of school, I feel like we are slowly but surely getting our routine down and the kids have been so helpful and you know they've really stepped up here lately with mark working as much as he's been working he has had some crazy crazy hours it's finally calming down a little bit but because you know i've been dragging them to this sport and that sport and then we have church and hanging out with friends and just doing everything together as a family it's been wonderful but a lot of it mark couldn't come to just because he was working till really really late so it's nice that he's now back into a semi-normal schedule and we can just do all those things together as a family but all the kids are doing sports and all that starting up so it's getting a little bit crazy but mark and i sometimes have to divide and conquer and then sometimes we get to do everything all together but these days are just so much fun. I think about that every time I do laundry, just how thankful I am for my kids and the sports that they're interested in. And even though it's crazy because, you know, when you have four kids, everything's times four. I wouldn't trade it for anything. I love the busyness of everything. I love my kids being involved with sports and church, and it just makes me really happy. It's one of the fun perks of being a mom. I know what you need. My kids are growing like weeds and it also feels like they're always in between sizes. So I pass something from Ava to Kate and then quickly she's outgrown it. It's crazy, but I also am so excited. I've been trying to walk every day and yesterday I walked about four miles, but on average I would say I probably walk about two and a half miles a day just to get my body moving and I can feel fall in the air, which makes me so excited. It's been more like in the mid seventies, sometimes eighties, but that is such a reprieve from the nineties and in the hundreds sometimes, which it can be here. So I'm so excited for fall. I get excited every single year. Summertime is my absolute favorite just because my kids are home and I want to be with them, but fall is just my second most favorite and I get really excited for football season too. It might seem so small, but just doing that in here already makes me feel so much better. And I feel like it's a good start to my day, so I'm gonna keep on moving. Maybe some of y'all remember this, but some months ago now, I made this little game closet and it's been great. It's very unorganized right now because lately we probably haven't been the best at picking up the games and putting them back where they go and in the right bags, but I wanted to get it organized. There were a couple games my kids just don't play anymore, so I got rid of those. And then I realized I can hold more in here than just games. At first I started to shift this little cabinet thing not cabinet whatever this is shelving thing over but it doesn't shift very easily and it started to fall apart so i just left it maybe one of these days i'll take everything off and move it but to the side of it i wanted to put like the vacuum cleaner that i always use upstairs because it's really great for carpet and my deep cleaner my deep carpet cleaner because we only have carpets upstairs and a couple other things like the duster and our fan that we use sometimes. And I just had put it in the playroom and everything was piling up in the playroom and it just did not look good at all. So I'm slowly going through every single room and just putting stuff where it needs to go. Mark and I have both been working on that and it has felt so good to just put stuff where it goes, have a final resting place and get our home more organized. We've needed to do this for a very long time. And said you trusted with me But all I did was let you down Time and time again It wasn't my intention Maybe we should have been friends So You're someone like
used to know you But nobody said it'd be easy But maybe I should have known One more drink to swallow it down I gotta get you out of my mind But nobody said it was easy Maybe I should have known I've been out till late shifting back does anybody else have kids who love to tumble and flip and do all the things and the equipment for it is slowly taking over your life because it started off just being Kate and it's her passion she loves it so much she loves tumbling and now it's just every kid who comes over which is great because we have the stuff but then it's also Ava and it's also Max and it's also Bo they all love this stuff so we don't really use our playroom as a playroom. It's very rarely played in. Of course, they'll come and dump out toys, and especially when friends come over. But as far as actual toys, my kids don't play with a ton of toys. They'd rather just be outside running around or doing tumbling or, of course, playing the Switch or watching TV. So this playroom is just unused space or space that's not used well. So I wanted to just shift things around. I might regret this. Almost any time I move stuff around, I regret it. But I'm putting the TV on this wall with the couch facing it and then sectioning off an entire section on the other side for all of the tumbling stuff. you probably should wait and let somebody help you move it because I just messed the paint up and that TV was so much heavier than it looks. For real, all the TVs we have downstairs, even the huge one on the wall in our living room are so light. And I had forgotten how heavy this one is. It's like one that was made a while back and we even had it in our old house for a long time. So it's just heavier, it's built heavier and maybe it's built better, I don't know, it's lasted for a long time. But I did move it and it's one of those things when you're up here by yourself, it's a lot harder to do things because it's this game of Tetris and you're trying to make sure things fit. I was trying to move this bar all the way across the playroom and it wasn't really fitting so I was having to shift everything. But it's kind of worth it too. I love it because as I go I can vacuum the floors and vacuum areas that maybe don't get vacuumed that much and shift the rug, vacuum underneath that. So I do like moving furniture around. I do struggle sometimes with putting rugs on carpet because no matter what you do, the grips underneath or 
it, whatever you do, it feels like they bunch up and they get like messed up a little bit underneath the couch and then if they start to rub up against the dresser or they shift they just get bunched up and it doesn't look great it does that in my office sometimes too so you know I contemplated just taking this rug out all together and giving it away but I love the colors of it and I love having all this color in the playroom because I think it's perfect so I'm gonna keep holding on to it and there's nothing else I would put in here differently because I like the look of it, but it's just a matter of, I don't like how it bunches up. Do you feel the same way with rugs on carpet? I know some people don't even understand why you would ever put a rug on carpet. I like it, but I just don't like the practicality of when it gets messed up. With these bins, I kind of remembered where they were before we brought them up here, like before the floors were done. So I was calling out to my kids and just asking them, hey, can you put this here? Can you put this here? So didn't get it fully put away, but at least I got it in the right location because all of this is just randomness from downstairs. And I knew I couldn't tackle it all and get everything perfectly put where it's supposed to go, but at least I could get it in the right room. And you'll notice like the cords around the TV in the playroom. I did the same with that. I don't know where all the cords go. I don't know what the cords go to. And it's a little bit of just a jumbled mess. I know that Mark knows though, so he can come fully set everything up and put away the cords and stuff that we don't need. Silence, but I'm here. I'm here. This was such a huge deal for me to get the playroom even to this point because I had been putting it off for so long, and even though there's still work to be done, I can't tell you how much of a relief it was to just get to that point. And it almost like put things in motion to just keep on moving and keep on getting stuff done. And I was so excited that we had the pew inside. I knew I needed to do more work on it, which I do in this video. And I'll show you all the final product. I guess we're at the final product state. And I want to put some baskets underneath. So maybe it's not fully done. But I really love the way that it looks now. And it has been empty here for so long. And we loved having this pew here. And I know I get asked in every single video, where's your pew? Where's your pew? And I thought it was ruined forever because when we moved it outside, it stayed out there for a very long time. And even though it was almost fully protected, one side of it was kind of out in the elements a little bit. So it got a little weathered, a little messed up. But after some scrubbing and painting, cleaning, sanding, all that, it's back into place and I am so happy about it. I don't really think I had this set up for too long of the TV being on the wall and the couch facing that TV and then also the pew. So I was already struggling before on the arrangement in the living room, but then even more so now. So you guys know I've never ever taken time to decorate my living room and I know it's time to the point where I'm almost willing to just hire somebody. I would love to have an outside opinion on how to place furniture, what furniture to get for in here. If we need like two couches or something just different, you know, with, we need a lot more seating because we have a lot of people over here a lot. So I know that this sectional long-term is probably going to go up to our playroom 
and we're going to get, I'm assuming, I'm thinking probably two couches and two chairs for the living room, just so we have tons of seating. Even just for my family, we need that much, like when my extended family comes. So we're going to work on that and then just getting stuff decorated, getting the TV down off the mantle and decorating that table underneath it that I've never taken time to do anything with and printing out different pictures for above the pew. My brain's kind of thinking about all this stuff right now, so I'm almost tempted to just make a list right now, but I want to do all of that stuff and maybe get it done before the end of this year. It takes time and I don't want to rush into anything, especially like a big purchase like living room furniture. But Mark would love to have recliners. I don't feel like there's ever a way you can make them look that great in a living room, but they're so comfortable. So he would love that. So anyways, we're working on it and we'll see what happens. I have been looking at stuff on Pinterest and trying to get ideas and some inspiration, but I would always love if y'all had any opinions or input too. I love reading through and getting new insight from y'all. I'm tackling the kitchen part tonight, but I'll come back on a different night and get to the craft table that was long overdue and the dining room table. But I'm moving on now to the back porch. So it used to be where the pew was right here and you almost really couldn't get out of our back door because the pew arm was right there. And then the table's been out here, but we have had the rug forever that goes underneath it and I haven't put it out until now. And these windows are dirty. I needed to pressure wash the concrete back here. So I wanted to spend a little bit of time out here just cleaning these windows. I don't do it as much as I should. And even our string lights, like I started to kind of spray them a little bit with a pressure washer, but they need to be thoroughly cleaned too. It just gets really nasty out here pretty quickly. So I'm just spraying on the Dawn power wash on the windows. I let it sit for a little bit and then I was going in gently with the pressure washer. Of course, with this pressure washer, you don't want to be like right up on the window and spray straight on because it could crack the window. But I was trying to do gently and from the side and it got them really, really clean. I come out here, you'll see in a little bit with a beach towel and just go around to all the windows and dry them off. And I was so surprised at how clean they got.
this has just been the perfect little table for out here in the back porch and I think it could even withstand the elements. We went to the fair one time and we saw these exact tables out just permanently out in the open. So I think long term, maybe on down the road, if we ever got a pool in our backyard or something, we could probably move it out and have more furniture or a sectional or something on the back porch. But I really love this table. I love it even more now because we have the rug out and it just feels more official. But now that the weather's cooling off a little bit, we can eat out here more comfortably and it is my favorite thing to do in the evenings. I'm also going to work a little bit more on updating some of my links. Like I know even when it says living room rug, I think it's still the rug that we used to have in the living room, but we moved to our bedroom. So I'm going to work on that because I know it gets frustrating to click on links and it's not what you thought it would be. And then I need to add things like this picnic table and the rug that I put underneath and all of the tumbling stuff for Kate. If I can find that on Amazon, I'll link it because I know sometimes y'all have expressed interest in that too. It's a really great like Christmas present or birthday present. So I'm going to be working on that today as my video is uploading. I'll be updating those links to make it a little bit easier for y'all. Inside my room, mm, the heat's like a warm embrace. My bed feels like heaven. I lose track of time. One thing about this table, which is probably so good, but it is so heavy. I didn't look up the exact pounds, but it has to be like 400 pounds. It's abnormally heavy and Mark could handle lifting it on his side, but I was struggling for sure because we moved it all the way to this side and then we put the rug down and then we moved it out on top. I thought that would be easier than trying to slide the rug underneath it and I wasn't paying attention. I definitely should have worn gloves or something because it ripped these like nasty blisters in my fingers and it was still worth it because the rug looks really good and I'm happy with where it is, but I did not film that part and I'm glad I didn't like putting the rug underneath because it took a while and I probably did not look cute in the process at all.
And this was the rug for the back porch, but because I've had it for probably over a year now, I wanted to lay it out and let it just sit overnight and flatten out. I ended up turning it upside down too, so it could flatten that way. And it was, it was pretty rolled up, so it took a second for it to flatten out. But while that is sitting there for a little bit, I'm going to work on the pew. Because I pressure washed it, some of the white paint came off so you can see the original color of the paint underneath, which is like a off-white color. And I wanted to just wipe everything down because there's mud, there's all kinds of stuff from where I sanded, and I mean, there was even bird poop, like there's a lot going on. So I'm wiping it down, letting that dry, and then I'm gonna start painting. I started out painting the sides black and that had been my plan for a while and as I was doing this first coat which I think this is called bare blackout it's the same color as my island and the mudroom and it's a matte paint which I really like for the side of this pew but as I was painting it just something about it I just really felt like doing the color in our bedroom like the accent wall which is bare cracked pepper it's a very very dark gray and I just changed my mind and I really wanted to do it. So I do the first coat in this black and then I come in with the bare cracked pepper and do that over top and I am so happy with my decision. I really, really love it. And then those pieces underneath that I said I needed to paint, I really just don't. If I end up long-term thinking it needs to be painted, maybe I will, but then even on the sides, like the top and very bottom, I left those, the wood too. I didn't really sand that, but I think it's fine. And then, like I said, I'm gonna add some baskets for underneath the pew, so it'll give it like a finished look. But y'all can let me know what you think, but I really like the gray on the sides.
I got kind of lucky with the way we moved the pew out onto the back porch. So I said one side got pretty bad and it was this side. And it just so happens to be the side that goes up against the wall. So on the other side of this, I did paint it, but it really didn't have to be because it probably will never show. And I'm just so thankful that this pew hopefully wasn't forever ruined. I really, really thought that for a split second outside. I was so nervous and so sad because I've had this in my house for years and I love it, but hopefully it can stay in here for a very long time or until, you know, maybe it falls apart and we can't sit on it anymore. Oh, don't try. I don't like all the things you do mess with my head. Just pick me up and me down. All right, I'll show y'all at the end of the video how the pew looks, but I'm moving on to this craft table area. It was horrible. I mean, I'm talking about I ended up throwing away so much stuff that the kids don't use or that was messed up, and we just end up throwing stuff over here, and it's not good. And off camera, the kids helped me with a ton that I sat here and said, if you want this, you can keep it. If not, we're throwing it away. So that wasn't all shown, but they definitely helped in this process. I also took the gather sign down off the wooden piece above this. If you didn't notice, I was kind of tired of it and I just wanted to give it away. And I'm kind of hanging pictures on there for now until we figure out something to do long term in this space. But my kids definitely use this craft table. They definitely do all kinds of painting, coloring, whatnot every single day. So I want to make this stuff accessible to them but just a little bit more organized. And this took so long, probably longer than I care to admit because it was so bad, but I'm thankful that I got it done. to ground again how do you get up when your body say no we've broken all that you have left how do you take back take back what you've lost all i need is another chance to get back up and make a mess yeah Another chance, this I will be different. Gotta let me, gotta let me try. You got to let me try. It's got my head. I'll link some of these organizers too. They are so great. I got most of them from Amazon, and then the clear ones were from Walmart. I bought a ton of those a while back because I organized everything under, like in my bathroom cabinets which helped a ton, but then I had some leftover, so I used it for Ava's paint stuff. Most of the time when it's paint, it's Ava. She loves to paint and color, and she's my very artistic child, but the other kids definitely come in here and do all the things too. So, and then these ones that stand up, I think those were from Amazon too. It's just really helpful to have stuff where, yeah, it's not always gonna be organized, but when it needs to be, you know where things go. I've been trying the best 
lost for a while Trying to please everyone who's around me I've been putting on my fake smile Even though I'm wasting time I don't want to be trapped in a box Trying to be like the rest when I'm not I just want to go my own way Gonna let the past burn down Cause honestly don't want to be Stuck in boring conversations with you With you I'm gonna leave it all behind Find myself, I'm gonna start with new Yeah I'm on my way now I wanted to give y'all a quick look at how everything looks now and because it hasn't been that long ago that I filmed this it still looks like this now so let's hope that it stays up for a little while and it's just nice to have the dining room table cleaned off because it's been bad for a good bit and that craft table and then to have the pew back inside and this table out on the back porch and here's the rug underneath it and what that looks like. I'm just so happy with it and it makes this outside space so much more inviting and cozy and then having the pew done is so nice too and I will show y'all how it looks once I get the baskets underneath. I feel like the baskets will provide a little bit of separation from the color of the wood on the floor and then the color of the wood on the pew but thank you guys so much for being here and for watching. I hope you guys feel motivated, excited about the upcoming week and I can't wait to see y'all in my next video. Bye guys. <music>